Here's a fun job to help uh, feed our winter friends, our hummingbirds I'm talking about, those sub-zero days. You're going to need a breeder lamp from a hardware store, about $25, $30, a flat hummingbird feeder, and a plastic flower pot, 10 inch size diameter. Save the wire that comes with the uh, breeder lamp, unless you're handy with coat hangers later, but it's handy. You're going to bend it down and flatten it so that it clips onto the base of the flower pot, and we're going to attach it to the top of the hummingbird feeder. You're going to need to bend this with your hands. It's quite soft, easy to do. And we're also going to take some pliers and to sharpen or the, make uh, the prongs a little bit sharper to poke into the holes. And we're going to pre-drill some holes in the rim of that flower pot. We'll mark them first with some dots so that we can uh, drill that and then they'll get a better grip. Everything's going to pop into place and then pop apart for easy cleaning and uh, maintenance. We're going to put that heat lamp inside the pot. We're going to cut a hole one inch drill, put that plug through it, and then we're going to pop a couple of small screws to hold it in place once it's there. It uh, will stay in place quite nicely. It's just the right size. Then we need to attach that wire frame to the hummingbird feeder. I'm going to use cable clamps that are electrical. Uh, any hardware store carries those. There's lots of ways of attaching them. You could use elbows or screws or whatever. But I'm going to use uh, little threaded nuts, uh, pre-drill some holes, pop those threads, uh, those uh, screws in, and um, we're going to use four of them to hold it down. Make sure that you don't get those nuts too close to the central uh, frame in that hummingbird feeder or it won't uh, pop back together uh, easily. You need a little bit of space from the center. Four of them will uh, be quite enough to hold the whole thing. It's nice and strong. We'll tighten that up and uh, put it back together again, and that's all there is to to um, fastening the top on. There we go, nice and strong. Nice and neat, easy to clean later. And fits well. Pops in place, and then we're going to attach it to the flower pot. Now, those holes um, are going to be a little bit uh, snug and it's a little bit fussy at first to get them to pop into place but it will eventually go and it also has a lot to do with the the rim of the flower pot itself some around here's one i made it has a round lip on it it's quite secure and sturdy uh, i'm going to probably put a 60 watt light inside there but the same thing it's uh exactly the same pops apart quite nicely easy for cleaning and uh, refilling and goes back together. Um, you can either hang it or you can attach a bracket sideways to mount it. And I'm also going to put uh, another uh, pan saucer on the top just to uh, kind of give a bit more rain shedding. Um, get a very a lot of rain and snow here. And I might put a broad clear saucer on the other one's top so that uh, it has a little bit more rain and snow shedding protection as well as the heat lamp from underneath. Anyway, real cheap, fast, friendly. Thanks for watching. Good luck with it.